All right, we're gonna look at the unit activity, independent and conditional probability, since this can be one that's a little bit confusing. So it's finding the likelihood of surviving um, at different ages for these um, people that we're talking about. So we're gonna go to the table first to answer our questions, and it tells you where to go, which is nice. It says, what's the probability that Jacob, the newborn you're considering for a 30-year policy, lives to be 30? Um, now there's two really big pieces of information here. Um, one is that right now he's a newborn, meaning he's zero years old, and we're talking about him living to be 30. And then it also tells us where to look. So we're gonna be looking in table 14. And we're gonna take our time to scroll down here. What are we at so far? Five. Uh, 12, okay, getting close to 13, 14. Okay, so we're going to be doing a bunch of conditional probability, meaning that we're going to be doing some fractions. And so we need to understand what this is talking about first. This is the probability of dying, number surviving, number dying. And so what we're going to be looking at is number surviving to a certain age, okay? Because that's what we're asking here. Um, what's the probability that he lives or he survives to be 30, okay? So... Um, we want to know first the age that he's at now. So he is zero to one. He's a newborn, so he's zero years to one year old. Um, so there's a hundred thousand of those. That's going to be our bottom number. The starting number, their starting age, is our denominator of our fraction, and he lives to be 30. So if someone lives to be 30, that means that their age is between 30 and 31. Okay, so like 30 and a half years old, something like that. So now we're going to be looking at the number of people surviving to be 30 divided by how old they already are. So in this case, bring up our calculator, we're going to be doing 97,424, um, what he's surviving to, divided by his age right now, which is 100,000, or sorry, divided by how many people survive at his age right now. 100,000, and that gives us 0.97424. So that will be our answer for this one here. Now let's keep going. The probability that Carol, who is 44, and you're considering a 20 year policy, um, what's the probability she lives to be 64? So now we're gonna be looking at table 18, it says. Okay, um, so now, Right now she's 44, so that's gonna be our denominator of how many people survive to 44. And then the numerator of our fraction is gonna be surviving to 64. So surviving to 64 is right here, 64 to 65. It's always gonna be the smaller number. So how many people survive to that? So number surviving is 81,234. 234, and we're going to divide that by the age that she is now, which is 44. How many survived to 44? So 44 to 45 is what she is. She's between there, and that's 94944. So divided by 94944. And so her probability is 0.85559 or 0.86. You can even put for this one down here, okay? So all of those are gonna be the same. Where we start with um, how, the, the age that we're asking if they can live that long, okay? So the probability of the age that we want them to live to, divided by how many survive the age they already are, okay? So numbers surviving to that certain age divided by the numbers surviving to what they already are for all of these. So hopefully that's very helpful.